This demonstration illustrates the procedures for upgrading a network or server from 8.2 to 9, migration of the NMC database, and transfer of NMC users to AuthC. In this demonstration, we're going to be migrating the Networker 8.2 server we have installed here on Windows to Networker 9. We're going to migrate the NMC database, and we're also going to migrate a couple of users over. So the first thing we should do is take a look at what we have configured right now. If we look at the NMC and we go to Setup, under Users, you could see that we've got two users created. One is a console user, and the other is an administrative user. So we're going to want to migrate those over. If we go back to the network administration now, we could see that we've got a couple of groups created, this NW server backup, win backup, we've got a couple devices. If we go to configuration, we can see the groups. And we've got the NW Windows server is in the NW server backup, win client has win client backup. And we have save sets defined. You can see that we just ran you can see that we just ran these successfully. So now we've got that set, what we can do is go ahead and go on with the migration. Now we're going to do this demonstration a little bit differently. There's a couple different ways you can do the upgrade. In some cases you might have the NMC, the Network Management Console, installed on a server that is now not supported. So in that case you would have to do a ma manual migration of the GST database. And what we're going to do is show you that procedure. So we're going to simulate having that done. Now you can do this as part of the normal migration, but there's another way to do it if you want to as part of the upgrade. And I'll show you that as well. So in our case, what we're going to do is go ahead and minimize this. Again, this procedure is what we would do if we needed to migrate from an unsupported database or an unsupported NMC platform to a new supported platform, or if you wanted to switch hosts. So we're going to go into our software directory where we've downloaded the Networker 9 software. And in here where the binaries are, there is a file called GSTDB unload. And we're going to copy that file and we're going to put it in Program Files, EMC Networker, Management, GST, Bin. And we're just going to paste that in here. Now what we want to do is we want to go in, open a command prompt to that directory. Again, Program Files, EMC Networker, Management, GST bin, and we're going to run this file. And what this is going to do is it's going to create an unload file of our NMC database. Now, because we're unloading it, we're doing this online, we still want, Networker doesn't need to, you don't need to be logged into Networker, but it needs to be running. So you want to do this before you uninstall. So we're just going to do our gstdb unload file, and then we're going to specify the path we want the file to be unloaded to. So in our case, we're just going to use the root of C. We'll hit enter and we'll let this run. And you can see in our case, this is very fast. We don't have a lot of data in there, uh, 57 tables, not a whole lot of data. If you had a large NMC environment that had been running for a while, this might take a while. And now we've got our, if we go to the root of C, we could see that we've got this unload file now created. So we've got this reload SQL and reload log. So now when we do our migration, we can, or our upgrade, we can choose to uh, migrate that file as well. Okay, so now we're ready to do our upgrade. So the first thing we want to do is we need to uninstall the networker server. And we can do this two different ways. So we can go in like we can do and just run the networker installer here and run it through as an upgrade. So we have that option and it'll select everything there. What we're going to do instead is we're just going to go into the control panel. I'm going to show you the little bit longer way, uh, but it works just as well. We're going to go to Programs and Features, and we're going to uninstall the NMC. Okay, that's uninstalled, and now we're going to uninstall Networker. And we know that by uninstalling through the control panel, it does not delete the Networker directories, so we know all of the database information we have is there so we're safe there. So all we're doing is just uninstalling both the NMC and the Networker server and when that's complete we're going to install the new version. Okay now that that's uninstalled we can close the control panel here and we can go ahead and delete these files that were left over. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to run our Networker server binary. So again, if you've seen the installation demo, 
we've got a client, an extended client, and then a network or server binary. So we're going to run this one. We're going to choose to accept the license agreement. And in our lab environment, we're not going to configure the Windows firewall. In a production environment, you would. So we'll click Next. And now we're going to choose what we want to install. Again, it's server and client, the network or management console, and the path. If we had it installed on an alternate path, we would select that there. We're going to choose Next. Now we get our pop-up message about licensing. Again, licensing changes with Networker 9. We start a licensed server instead of using the enabler codes. So we'll click OK, acknowledging that. And again, here's our Java information. We're going to choose Next. And we need to enter a key store password and click Next. And now we're entering our administrator password. Now keep in mind here, even though we're doing an upgrade, the administrator password changes because we are now using a new authentication service. So you're entering new credentials here and they have different criteria. So you can see nine characters, upper, lowercase numbers, special characters. So you have to keep that in mind. Your user credentials will change. We're going to choose the NMC install path and click next, the database destination folder. And here's where we're going to come into the migration piece of it. So if we were doing a new installation, we would skip the migration, or if we didn't want to migrate anything over, we could skip the migration. If we had double-clicked setup instead of doing the control panel uninstall and run, on Windows we could say migrate the database automatically. It'll just do an in-place migration. Now what we're doing is we're simulating that maybe our NMC was on a different host or something like that. We're showing you the longer way in case you need to do it that way. And so in this case, we've already done the GSTDB unload, so we've got our unload files. So we're going to select Migrate the Database Manually, and we're going to choose our location to where we dumped it. So we dumped it to the root of C, so we're going to select the root of C. And we're going to click Install. And now this process is going to go through and do the installation, and it's going to do that NMC migration automatically as part of the process. So we'll suspend the recording while this is running, and we'll come back at the next dialog box. Okay, so we can see now that the networker installation has succeeded. So we've now upgraded the server. We're going to click Finish. And now what we want to do is launch the NMC. So we'll go to All Programs, EMC Networker, and we'll click our link here. You can see we've now got the Networker 9 logo. We'll click Start. So we're going to log in with Administrator. And again, we're going to log in with the new password that we just set, not the old administrator password. So we click Next. We're going to next through all of this. All of these fields are already populated. You can see that it read all that in from the existing NMC upgrade. So we're just confirming everything. All right, so now we get this new pop-up, and it says Migrating Console Users. So the NMC's detected console user from the previous installation. This is saying, do you want to migrate them? This is where we go through and migrate those users. Now we're going to say yes. We do want to migrate those users now. If you hit no, you can do it at a later time. We're going to go ahead and do it as part of the upgrade. So now what we've got is this new box that gives us our migration options. So we can see we have both of our users here. They're checked, so I can check whether I want to migrate it or not here. And I can specify certain information. So the first thing I need is a username, or is a password rather that conforms to the password criteria of auth c and what we'll do is we'll go through these and we'll get these set and we're going to tell it um, one thing you'll notice is that password change required is checked since we're setting the password we're going to go ahead and uncheck that because we don't want to change it again and now we've got both of them checked and we could say migrate users and delete unselected users so if there's any users you don't have checked they're going to be deleted and now if we go into setup, we can click on our users and we see user one and user two. And the difference now is that these are authentication service users. Now if we go back to enterprise, we can see it's found our data domain, our network or server. So everything migrated over and we can launch this. And if you see, we've got this new pop-up that says network or migration succeeded. So now we know that the migration was successful. And if we open up the migration log file, we can see any errors, any notifications, any issues that popped up. So we can find that. We can find the log files. They're down here. And we get a summary of everything that happened. So we'll close that. And now our NMC comes up. So that's going to pop up the first time. And this is available 
at any time from the file menu. You could say open migration log file. And now what we can see is we've got, let's go to protection. So what we can see is if we look at our clients, our clients have migrated over. We can look at our groups and we can see that our groups have migrated over. So here's NMC, our NW server backup group. And here is our win backup group. And what's happened is that these have become policies. So we have a new group or new policy called backup. Networker has migrated them in. So it's created a new policy called backup and it's aligned all of these groups as workflows underneath it that are representative of what they were doing. So these were just backing up before. So under backup, we have new workflows for each of those groups that were configured. So NW server backup is configured. And if we look at the graphical representation, we can see that it was running NW server backup group is backed up to onsite DD, which is what it was doing in the previous version. And win backup is being backed up to onsite AFTD. Now we also had a clone job configured. And if you have any clones configured, those are going to show up under a new policy called clone. And if we click on the clone workflow, we can see that daily clone was being cloned to offsite DD clone. So that's our pool. So basically everything gets populated under workflows. And so we'll have a single workflow for the backups and all of the groups will be under there. And then for the, the clones, all of the clones will be under there. And if you go into the properties of the workflow, we can see that our start times and everything are here. They're enabled. We can auto start enable them. We had them disabled on the previous version. There's our groups. And now we can go in and modify. If we wanted to add additional actions, we could do so, or we could modify the current actions. All of our settings are here. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is because these were migrated on our client options here under the action, we have legacy backup rules. So this is, we've got three options. Client can override, client cannot override, legacy backup rules. You'll only see this if you have migrated clients. And what this does is it, it gives you a summary down here, but it basically says that any options specified on the client and pool configurations are gonna override those options set here. So the options we're talking about are schedules, and that sort of stuff. The information that we specify in here for the backups. In the new framework, we do things, we schedule the, pool, the backup levels and everything through the action. On these migrated clients, as long as we have legacy backup rules selected, it's going to take the old method. So it's gonna look at the client properties and overrides and then any pool overrides. So we can leave that there. You can modify those if you want to. You can also move them out into new policies if you want to but everything can run right out of the box as it is. So if we look at our devices, we see our devices are there and mounted. And so now if we wanted to go and run our workflows, we can just start and run them. Now, one last thing to notice, you'll notice an alert down here about licensing. And it says that your license file was not found. You need to obtain licensing. So what we need to do is you need to now install the networker license management server so that then your server will be licensed and that will clear out these messages because again, we use a new licensing methodology. So now that we've completed everything, we have upgraded our networker server from 8.2 to 9. We've migrated the NMC database and we have migrated our users over to AuthC. This demonstration illustrated the procedure for upgrading a networker server from 8.2 to 9 migration of the NMC database, and transfer of NMC users to AuthC.